Hi guys, it's Turnette John's Furniture Repair, starting another project in the shop today. And it's this vanity here. Um, this one came in from a customer who we've done lots of work for. And they've got a whole bedroom suite, but in their recent move, this guy got into trouble. Uh, so this is the leg here, and it's snapped right off on the frame. Come down here. Other than that, we're gonna refinish the whole thing. Uh, we'll be doing the rest of the bedroom suite on a later date, but right now we're just going to repair and refinish this one. So just back to the original color and uh, shine up the hardware and clean it up and make it look like it was uh, when it was new. So let's get at it. Okay, so I got all the drawers out and got this thing flipped on its side to deal with this leg, first of all. And uh, you can see here where it's broken is right where the attachment was for the skirt and really did not leave any wood. I mean, it's not really structural, so it wasn't a big problem, but if anything hit it, it was gonna break. So basically just little pieces of wood holding on that with some veneer over top. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually take this screw out and I'm going to glue this, redo this dowel joint here and glue this back in without this screw here and uh, perhaps just put a glued corner block down here instead of a screw here at all because uh, what I'm gonna do is actually fill this um, with a wood dowel and then uh, glue that in with epoxy so it's got a solid piece coming across here. I mean, I could drill it out and put another screw in for holding on, but it's got one here on the end and if I just put a little glued in corner block here, it'll be fine, so. That's what I'm gonna do. So let me grab a screwdriver and get that screw out of here. And what I'm gonna do now is drill out both of these um, dowels that are broken off here. Okay, so that's all cleaned out. And this guy's all cleaned out and I've got a new dowel here. So I'm just gonna get some epoxy mixed up and I'm gonna glue this in here. And I'm gonna actually fill this with epoxy too. So I've just got my West system here. I'm just gonna do a half batch. And I'm gonna add some sawdust here just to thicken it up. The West System sells a uh, silica th thickener, but I just use sawdust because it's free. And there ain't a whole lot of stuff that's free in this shop, that's for sure. Sometimes I spend so much money on supplies, I wonder if I make any. Okay, so that's nice and thick. I want to be able to fill up that big void. Does a pretty good job of thickening. And the other thing is you can use wood from the project that you're working on to color it. So that's always helpful too. Okay, so some of the uh, back veneer was loose here. So I'm gonna glue that at the same time. First, I'll just get my glue in the joint. Here. And a little bit of my holes kind of coming through that side too. Insert my dowel here. 
Give it a good twist so I get some good squeeze out. And then I'm going to probably cut it off around there. And before I put this leg on, I'm going to fill up this void here. I don't even know if I need to put a dowel in here. To be honest, I think what I'll do is just put the corner block across this break. I think that's completely sufficient for this repair. And then I'll also put it in this end. You guys have watched uh, my other videos, kind of know I make up my mind as I go with a lot of these jobs. So I'll say one thing and then I'll do something completely different. If that annoys you, I'm sorry, but I'm honestly just working and uh, figuring things out as I go. So you get to hear my uh, entire mind process as I work through these repairs and figuring out which process I'm gonna use. And sometimes I think I'm gonna do something and when I get to it, I'm like, you know what? This is a better way, so I'll do it this way. So just bear with me. Okay, so we've got uh, the epoxy in the joint and this is all here. So I'm just going to bring this down on the joint. There we go. Good. So that is all solid full of epoxy. So that's good. Don't need to put a wood dowel in there. What I will do now though, after clamping this up, is get a wood block behind there and clamp this all straight. So let me get a clamp here first. So I'm going to just run this uh, corner block, it's pretty nice and hefty, so right across that whole joint. Put that on there, and then I'm also going to, while this is drying, put it across here just so I get this joint as flat as possible. Try to put this clamp on so there's room for... my other clamp to go back on. Awesome. So that can dry overnight and then we've got uh, eight legs on this cabinet and we can get to uh, doing the stripping. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's next morning in the shop here and let's get these clamps off. So that's pretty nice and sturdy. And that brake is really nicely come together. You can see there. So nice and flat across the joint. And the leg is nicely sitting in there. So now we just need to clean up the glue and uh, we can get on to the stripping.
Okay, so this top's got a lot of dents in the walnut veneer. So I'm just going to steam it before we sand this top. I just got our cotton rag that I soaked in some water. It's not too serious, but I don't want to sand this walnut a lot. Because I really like when walnut has that nice chestnut patina. And if you sand it a lot, walnut can get uh, uh, really red. So I want to kind of keep in mind that I don't want to sand a ton. Because they've got three other pieces that go with this set and they're not going to be getting those finished for a little while. So I want to send it back as close to the original color as I can. So it doesn't look too out of place while they're waiting to get the rest of the stuff done. So I've just been doing light hand sanding on everything. Lots of times I'll steam without a rig if we're sanding quite a bit and I want to really get in there. But with this, I want to be really careful not to go too crazy with the sanding.
Okay, so I've got the first coat uh, sanded. I did two coats on the top right away, and this all uh, is sanded with 320. So what I'm gonna do now is hit some of the light spots with a couple toners. So the spots like in here, uh, and you know all the trim around here. I did do a, a, a glaze of burnt umber before uh, doing all those spray work, and that's helped a lot to bring everything in to tone, but needs a little bit more. So I'm gonna do that, and then the whole thing is gonna get a raw umber tint. So look at that gorgeous veneer though, it's really popping. finished the panels installed and that's it for this piece pretty pretty straightforward um, we did seal the inside of the drawers because they were pretty dirty so those are all nice and clean I always do that and uh, the top is silky smooth it's got such a beautiful color going on you see that nice walnut there and all those beautiful burls on the drawers uh, our side that we repaired right down here can't really see anything, but it's right there that we repaired this uh, break on the leg that we did. Let's get you a closer look. Yeah, right there is that seam that you can barely see. So that's all nice and sturdy now. And uh, it is ready to go. It looks really awesome. Just love this piece. And there's a whole bunch more to go with it. So I'm excited to do the rest of the set when it comes in. And there was also a mirror that went with it that I've got over here. So this guy's all good to go as well. Nice. Yeah. So once again, thanks for joining me on this one. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press like and subscribe. And uh, you'll definitely enjoy the rest of our videos.